What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. Right there. I don't need to say nothing else. So let's see what Michael and the missus has got. Come on. I'm gonna let you guys guess who's driving the truck today. Y'all ready? It's me again. <laughs> Got him working again? Yeah, let's just say we had a mishap with our pool and oh. it was not so good. The wind yesterday that rained out our t-ball games collapsed our pool. Oh no. So we have to, we had to put it back up and now he's having to find replacement parts for the legs and he's having to put in drains all the way around it. Oh so. man, that's I, yeah. That sucks. It does. Suck. <laughs> Get that close and then. Well, see, we didn't have our liner in it, and he had to order a trencher yesterday, mm -hmm. and he went around it. Well, he had to take the cord that we had tying the legs down so it doesn't fall down, and he forgot to put them back up. And when he did it, the wind it was 60 mile an hour is what they said. Yeah. It just collapsed one side of it. So. It <laughs> that's didn't my bust luck it, though. right there. I mean, that's the. Good thing it didn't mess our metal up. It just broke one little plastic leg, so. Yeah. Well, that's my kind of luck right there. Yes. I know it was bad, the T-ball game getting rained out. I was well, kind of aggravated with that. Well, see, we had a delay, and I guess y'all's mm -hmm. team had a delay too, so I guess when they put the 30 minute delay, it wasn't enough, because it just kept raining. But I guess y'all want to talk about tools and not T-ball? Yeah. I like T-ball because I talk about tools all the time, but I'm sure they're watching for for tools, tools since it's a tool channel. Yeah. Um, because I don't know a lot about tools, I have an underhood light. I don't know if y'all mm -hmm. seen it or not, but it's over there. I hadn't even took it out of the box, so it's the new one. That's the hexagon light. It's actually removable, and because it's so big, I'm not going to put it up on the counter. I'll just pull out a box. Let's Go see on. what it's 2100 it. lumens. Yes. That's a big one. Yep, yeah, and it's green or orange. And it's got three and a half hours to four, and it's, you know, water and dust resistant and all Comes that. Comes with a 16 foot cord. Mm -hmm. So, Ben, it does that. I'm assuming it'll run plugged in or, or not. battery. We usually plug ours in, and the funny part about that is so we plugged our first one in, and somebody bought it. We couldn't find our cord to save our life, and Michael found the cord. It was in a drawer. So we ended up having to order another cord. But anyways, so. Fully repairable. Yes. So, I mean, it's a nice light to have. Yeah. And it's magnetic. Well, like this if, side's Spanish, so. Oh, well, I mean, you might have, have flip it over Spanish on this side. viewers. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a nice but It's light. got a quick release adapter, so I know Somebody said that the last one had like a lock-in mm -hmm. thing, so you couldn't just pull it. And that one, you can just kind of pull it out and be That's done. probably good that it doesn't, and if you trip over the cord, but there's yeah. your part number. And that's the green one yes. in the box. So mm -hmm. that'll be the part number for the green. Yep. And then I'm not sure if the orange will be an M for magenta or an O for orange. Well, M <laughs> for magenta. I don't know. Ma ain't magenta paint? <laughs> it's paint. But that's what the <laughs> ratchets are, are, they not? They say magenta. I thought it was for mango. Mango. Blue. I don't know. Blue. I don't know. My Somebody colors. said it was for mandarin. I don't know. Okay. Well, I'll take mandarin. That's kind of like Caroline asked me a really important <laughs> question. She said, was orange, talking about the fruit, mm -hmm. named for its color or was the crayon, talking about the color, Named, named after. Named after the fruit. I was like, I have no idea. That's kind of like the chicken or the egg. Yep. <clears throat> I don't know. And it's amazing what a four-year-old can come up with. <laughs> yes, it is. I ask you, but that was her question that she was wondering which one was named after what. I, was like, I don't know. Your guess is good as mine. But yes, Maybe we can right. go to the crayon factory and ask them there. They should know, right? Well, they've got that uh, 100 count of crayons. That's like all different colors that you've never heard of before. Mm -hmm. But yes, magenta is pink. 
Clearly. That's what I was thinking. It was pink. But when you <laughs> said that, know. I thought maybe I'm wrong. Maybe no. magenta is all no. orange color. I remember that we had to replace our magenta in here. Maybe that's why I got it confused. But yes, it is either mango <laughs> or whatever. Mandarin. Mandarin. M stands for orange and Matco. I know, and I don't parts. understand that. Why is it not an Number. O? There's nothing else with an O. But yeah. anyways, but the next thing I have, which correct me if I'm wrong, is called a valve core tool. This little thingy right here. Yep. Now, you might can tell me the difference in them. I know they said one's locking and one's mm -hmm. not. The, so this the is light the green is the locking one. Okay. So. Because we had Michael actually order them, and you can tell by inside here, you see those two little wire prongs? Yes. That's what grips the valve core. Okay. See, that's the neat thing about me being new to tools is like in this industry, I can actually ask somebody and they'll know mm -hmm. what they're talking about. <laughs> I see the, this one, if I get my, look at that. I'm gonna throw it all the way down here. You break it, you bite. Between the you. door. <laughs> you see the crap we have to go through just to show you guys some tools. Well, at least you're giving them a demonstration. Well, I'm trying to get it to stand up here and I ain't having no luck. But this one, you can see, don't have the little wires in it. It's Friday, I promise. And this is where I go to cussing around here. <laughs> well, see, I know that this one has that little, um, they said you can move it in the palm of your hand. Is that where yep. you can? Okay. But... And you can also use that to take out some Schrader valves with on the AC system. Okay. So. so my question to you is, because this is a tool channel and I'm not one that works with tools a whole lot besides, you know, like a screwdriver or drill or impact. This one right here, what's the difference between this one and these two right here? All right, this is a valve stem installer. That screws on your valve stem so you can pull it through the rim. And this is what goes inside the valve, valve stem. stem. Yeah. Okay. That's the little oh. thing you push in and the air squirts yeah. out. And if you don't put it on there right, the air, your tire just goes completely flat. Yep. Yeah, I got you. But well, we had Michael order these, and when he ordered them, I think they come in a big pack. Yep, we got Instead of just the one yeah so. we sell a bunch of them though that's why i was kind of curious i like to know what i sell mm -hmm. that's why i was asking you i like but. the locking especially on a big truck <coughs> now are their valve stems are they bigger than a normal mm -mm. car valve stem or same no? valve cores for a huge tire it's mm -hmm. the same as the okay the reason why i like the locking is you air up a big truck tire without the valve core in it because it airs it up faster oh i didn't know that and with the locking one, you don't have to try to hold it with your finger while you line it up and stick it back in when the yeah. air is blowing out at 120 PSI. Oh. So that's the reason why we prefer the lock-in. So what happens like if like it slips off? It just completely goes flat? Well, you know, <laughs> when you pull the thing off, the air, like when you're ironing it up, yeah. you pull the, the air chuck off and mm -hmm. air goes everywhere exactly. and you shove the valve stem in it and then you top it back up to where it needs to be with air. And then when you deflate it, it's we just unscrew the That's valve stems nice. and let it blow all the air out and take the tire off the wheel. But the <laughs> the non-locking, it'll be like a missile. If you slip it off your finger when you go to put it in, you let because I mean that air is blowing out at yeah. 120 psi through a hole the size of a pencil, so it's a lot of pressure, yeah. you know. So if you don't hold it, or you forget, like. Bill did it before. It's gonna sling that thing across the shop. Well, oh I mean, it gosh, ain't no okay. key or nothing, but yeah, but if it, it does just you, blow off. Hurt. But and two, <laughs> taking them out with a lock-in, like you can just pull it out and it stays on the lock-in chuck. So you don't have to worry it don't about shoot it away. <laughs> and you gotta find it. it so. I know. We, I was putting together that little quarter-inch ratchet, and if I have to rebuild, if it's like if one thing happens at a shop, it happens at every one of them throughout the day. So the mm -hmm. first shop I stopped at, I had to build a. 3 8 ratchet yesterday yeah didn't think nothing about it somebody stopped me at the door like before i was shutting it they come up and they said hey i need you to stop next door i have some warranty i said that's okay. fine i called michael said hey i've got to stop here so i'm gonna be running late pull up he has a half inch ratchet a quarter inch ratchet and a 3 8 ratchet they all have to be all broke yes. holy smoke and i was like what happened he's like well you know i had them broke but i just didn't want to call you and bother you i said it's fine if it breaks just holler at us what well, you know we'll yeah. just stop by if we have to just take it and just drop it off <laughs> on the way back it's fine just 
you ain't got to let it stack up like that. But anyway, so I didn't realize that on a half inch ratchet that it has a lip on it. Like, you know, the little mm -hmm. piece, the little twisty piece. I don't know what the name of it the is. The anvil. Yes. Yeah. That little piece, you know, it flicks mm -hmm. it. That it has a lip on it. So I was trying to take it out and I was like, it's not coming out. So I was like, I've done broke this ratchet. Don't say nothing about it. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, okay, do you want me to go, you know, pop it out with a chisel? And I said, no, I said, because if it breaks and I, you know, I don't want you to be without it any longer. So just so happened, I kind of flicked it the other way and it kind of like linked down. So mm -hmm. I just had to pull it out and I was like, I feel so stupid because it has a lip on it. So you have to bend it down to get it out. So, but what I was getting to is, so this quarter inch ratchet up here has the same thing. So I'm like, I know how to get it out. Don't think nothing about it. But it has these teeny tiny little springs on the inside yeah, of it. Yeah, little bitty springs. I was sitting here and, you know, technicians get up here. They have a certain amount of time. They have to mm -hmm. be on the truck and then get off. Or, you know, the shop usually comes out and says, look, you know, taking too long. So I'm sitting here and I'm putting it together and that spring, goes flying like these little things did down the door. You had four people at the steps looking for it. And it was right underneath this little mat. Wow. The whole time. <laughs> but no, if I had to pick a ratchet that I hate to rebuild, it would be a quarter inch because everything's so, so little, so tiny. Yeah. And I think I have one, honestly. But if you look at it, like this is all the little tiny, tiny pieces. See, there's the spring. Well, see, I can't even see it. That little bitty old thing right there went flying. Yep. See, you gotta zoom in because you can't even see it. <laughs> it's little. But yeah, it went flying. Like, I can't even get it now. But, but you get used to it, I guess. Yeah. That's what magnets right there are for. <laughs> That's what you need to do is just start building on a magnetic train that way if it I don't think about that. I got one back here that I could do that. Yeah. Or why they don't make this stuff right here magnetic or put a vise on here. Well, get that big, you, know, you used to have those big square magnets. I think I still got one somewhere. So you could build them on that and it wouldn't matter. Like, it'll no, suck it, it down just, there and that's it. Yeah, but I think it's got holes in it, so then it would get stuck on the other oh, side. Oh, it'll grab it. Would it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they're strong magnets, so you I won't know. have to worry about it. If you drop something, it'll suck it, unless it just like shoots it straight up. Well, see, know? it's a spring, so if there's enough force, mm -hmm. would it not? No, if it, I think you could lay it on there and drop the spring on it, it and is. it'll suck to it. They're strong. Well, I mean, if you threw a 14, strong I mean, surely enough. Yeah, I mean, a 14 is a small, you know, I mean, it's a quarter mm -hmm. inch, very small, but still. But it's still a piece of metal flying through. The mm -hmm. air. I mean, I, I wasn't chunking it like Nolan Ryan, you know. I was just, I was pitching it like a light cornhole toss, you know. <laughs> Look, we, we take cornhole serious. Yeah. So, I mean, we I do too. I love playing cornhole. Well, see, Michael's making us some boards, mm -hmm. and we're going to have like our logo on them, you know, just so we can have them. But we take that so serious. Like, I mean, we well, I know at the meetup, we may have to set up the cornhole and let's have some big games. Because I, I be guarantee fun. you there's going to be some people north of the Mason-Dixon line that's going to come. They don't know what cornhole is. They don't know what cornhole is. Or maybe they know what cornhole is, but they haven't really played it. Well, that's like uh, horseshoes. Yeah. I love playing horseshoes, but now there's some people that ain't got a clue. You ever played horseshoes. redneck golf? where it's got the golf ball with the rope between it and it looks like a ladder and you throw it and you got it wrap it around uh -huh. it. It's I've fun. seen the game, but I have never played it. Y'all need to play it, especially your youngins. It's fun. Oh, my youngins, they they got in the mud yesterday and I just, I can't talk to them. <laughs> we were getting ready for the ball game and they went sliding through the mud and it just, mm -mm. Oh, they well. uniforms and everything. Red clay. That's what it's for. Just fun. I guess, but she ain't even got her pictures made in it yet, and it's just. It ain't picture day. Not yet. But Nobody does ready? picture day first game. I do. That way, I can get it over with, so it's not stained. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna let Mrs. Matco get back to work. But uh, thank y'all for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us. Like always, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here, and click that subscribe button. You guys have a great weekend and we will catch you later. See ya.